Hello guys and very welcome to this video from Flying Tools and today I am going to clean some parts to the city streamer here. I have not installed so much on the car this week but I have cleaned a lot of smaller parts and you know how much time that will take. So uh, my plan for this video is to show you the dry ice blasting machine because I dry blasted the door panels on the car and it was actually working really really good and now I also plan to blast the plastic trims inside of the car and then I will also blast the carpet and it is actually pretty dirty so I am really hoping that this will work good because if not I probably have to glue on some new fabric on there but I think that this might work. Let's see about it anyway. So let's go into my garage here and take a look at the car first. And by the way it has been crazy crazy cold here this week. So we had a little over 20 degrees. I think it was 22 minus degrees centigrade at the lowest. Oh, sorry, it's... <laughs> Light on, please. Yes, sorry, it was a little dark there. All right, so here we have the city streamer and I have just tried this fender here that I just received. Uh, I also ordered the left one of course, but that was actually in really bad shape, so I had to turn that back to the seller there. So here are the door panels. And you can see that they are looking really clean. Sorry, it's really bad light here. I will try to open up this door a little more. So... Yeah. Those were a little yellow color on earlier due to all the dust and stuff. But now it's really clean. It's a little sun bleached. And I have also dried blasted those areas in here. So oh, it's hard to see, but... It's really clean and uh, fresh in every way. And here are some trims that I just have uh, also blasted actually. And uh, then I have gave it a thin layer of black paint. And this is half glossy, 50%. And those trims are matte finish. So, and it's important to have a really, really thin layer of, of everything here, because if I paint with too much paint, I will lose the structure here. There you have it. So it's really, really important to try to keep that structure, because uh, I don't like it if it looks painted. <laughs> yeah. And the good thing with the, with the dry blasting thing there is that uh, you can penetrate down to those areas and remove all of the old dust and the dirt inside of it. So, and here are the splashing uh, pads or what? <laughs> I don't know the name for it. So this is not in the best condition, but it will do for now. You can see we have a crack there. And then those emblems here will of course be white. And it's the same here. You, I have saved the structure. You have some stone chips here that you can see. But I mean, it is what it is. Now it's black and not gray anyway. That's the important thing. Just the same as the bumper here. All right. And here are the rear side windows they are tinted and ready to be installed and i have received my new emblem by the way and here you can see this plastic trim down here that always have those marks after dirty shoes some marks are of course left here but i mean it's in really good shape after the ice blasting or dry ice blasting. So, uh, 
I have also blasted the inside of this little box here that you can see and uh, focus please. It's completely clean and in good shape and you also get into all of those tight corners so yeah and you can see the fabric overall really nice everything is blasted with carbon ice or dry ice so you can see that it is darker here that's due to that uh, trim that are sitting on top of this uh, door panel and then the sun have reached this lighter part here so we have some sun bleach <laughs> here yeah that's not much to do about i mean the car is old and everything that you can see here that I have installed or just now hanged temporarily because I need some place to have them because <laughs> it's so limited of space in my garage here. So that's why I will do a video when I am installing everything. If you would like to see that, of course, please leave a comment and let me know if you would like to see more of that kind of stuff that I have posted earlier. All right, now it's time to uh, dry blast the rest of the trims that will go inside of the car and then I will also dry blast the floor mat to it. So here we go.
Here I have the floor mat to my city streamer and as you can see it is pretty, uh, well, pretty dirty. So let's see how well this will work. Here we go. So here it is, and I have to say that I am really pleased with the end result, and uh, well, just take a look at it. So this area here, here is some <laughs> old solder after some kind of repair, I guess, of the electronics. But uh, you can see that this is so clean now, no dust left whatsoever. And I of course have to repair this, it's just worn over all the years, and uh, I mean... Look at those stuff. I actually have to put on some polish here because it was uh, holding some kind of dust there that I couldn't remove with the blasting tool. But now it's clean and nice. And also this area here. And yeah, it's almost like new. It's a little glossy. <laughs> it's crazy how good this worked. So now it's time to go home, it's getting late here and tomorrow I hopefully will be out in my garage and do some installation maybe, I don't know, well let's see about that. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and don't forget to subscribe and then you will see you in the next time. Take care and goodbye.